Hello friends from the internet. Welcome to Jamie Geral. I am Jamie Silva and in today's episode I'm going to show you how you can name or rename your pictures using the program Capture One. Uh, first of all, if you are interested in purchasing the program Capture One, uh, I will let a link in the descriptions of, so that you can check it out and have a good price and uh, and actually purchase all the, the you have there all the versions uh, Capture One for Sony, Capture One for Fuji, Capture One for all the cameras. So go to the, the, the link in the description so that, so that you can have a good deal with the program. You can buy the program or you can test the program for 30 days and see how good the program is. Well, it's very important to name or rename your pictures in a very professional or organized way, uh, especially if you deal with lots of files. Uh, and this is how I'm going to show you. Uh, uh, the best way to rename your pictures is actually doing this uh, in an automatic form. Let's see how we can do uh, this using Capture One. Well, here in Capture One, the, the easiest way to rename a picture is just to click here and anything you type, you will rename the picture. I will type XSX. If I press enter, uh, it will be renamed. Probably uh, it went to the last, uh, to, to the last part of the, this album, and it actually changes. If you go here in Capture One folder, in the Capture folder, it act, it physically renames the picture, and that's here as X X X, and here is the picture that I just renamed. It. You can also, uh, if you press Ctrl A to select all of them, and you go here to Image, you have Batch Image, which will rename all of them uh, in a batch. So, but this is not what I want. What I really want is to rename the pictures in a, in a very organized, in an automatic way. First of all, uh, I have a system to rename my pictures in all and I always follow this system. For example, I always rename my pictures using first the year, month, and day. After that, I use a slash and I will use the name of the client and then another slash to, to write the job that I'm doing and finally a number to distinguish the picture so that they don't have all the same names because it's, it, it, the program will not accept that. And once I have a an organization like that, I can I, I cannot even look at the picture. I, I I don't need to visualize the picture to see what it's all about. Once I see the name, I can I have the date. Even though I have this information uh, written in the picture, I just need to see the name that I have for the picture to to know um, who is the client and what was the job that I was doing and the date I was doing this job. So let's hear and go uh, in the program. Well, to do that, you just need to add a simple information, uh, which is the, the name of the client and the, the type of job where you, you were doing. Uh, you will do this here in this uh, metadata option here. If I'm using the, 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 let me see if I'm using Windows, if I'm using uh, the default workspace, uh, this is not the, uh, I don't know if it is default, let me see. Oh yeah, now it's, I'm sure this is the default workspace. Well, if I'm using the default workspace, we'll find this in the, the left part of the program in the edit tools, uh, right here in metadata. Once you go to the metadata, you will look for metadata again, and then you will find IPCT status, and this is where you're going to add the, the information that the picture doesn't have, because all the other information is inserted in the picture, such, such as the, the date it was taken and things like that. Well, for the title, let me see, uh, let me write my, my client, for example, studio, uh, job identifier, let me see, let, let's write, write ballet, I could write something else. Okay, now the first picture has this information, but uh, I will press in the next picture, and as you can see, it doesn't have this information. So the second step is to transfer this 
title and job identifier information to all the pictures. And to do that, it's quite simple. Press Ctrl A to select all of them. Now I know that I have 36 pictures selected out of 36 pictures. And it's important to have this option marked. If you don't do that, it will not uh, transfer the information I need. Now you just need to go to this double arrow and once you, once you press the, 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 the key, the, the shift key in the computer and press this double arrow, all this information will be transferred to the other pictures. Let me check it out, pressing the second picture. Uh, let's deselect all of them just, the, just to be easier to see. Well, well the, sec the second picture has the information stu studio and ballet. The third picture too, okay. Now let's uh, select, them, select them again, pressing Ctrl A. And now let's rename all of them in a batch. To do that, go to image batch rename and let's create a formula for this and once I have this formula uh, formula I can apply uh, or I can, I can use it uh, uh, anytime I want for all the jobs let's press in format there's a hidden menu here and once I press here it will allow me to create the formula that I need first of all I will delete everything that is here in format just press just click here once I press Backspace, I will delete everything. Well, first of all, I will start with the year. Let me find here something like image day, it's almost there, image month, let's put oh, image year. I will, if I want year with four digits, I will press this. Now I will double, double click and it will appear here in format. And you can see what's happening to the picture here in sample. Sample will show you how the name is going to be. Now let's find the month of the image month. Uh, I will click here, image month. My computer is slow, but uh, image month, I will choose again two digits and I will double click so I get, uh, now I have year and month and in sample I have here now year and month. Now I'll look for image day of the week, image day of the month. I will click here and choose two digits again. Now I will double click it, double click it and it will here now in format and as you can see in sample, the, the formula is starting to take place. Well, now I, I can use uh, a separator. No, I just type a, a kind of separator like this dash here to separate the number. It's already here in a, for, uh, in a sample. Now I will look for, uh, let me see, in groups, I will go to metadata, status. I use title. If I want title first, I will just double click the title as you can see, you have a studio. <laughs> I typed that wrongly. Uh, it was supposed to be studio. <laughs> Funny mistake. I can easily uh, correct that later. Okay, but I will add another separator to title and I will I slash or anything you want. Now I want to draw, I want to add job identifier. Just double click and I have now job identifier. And here we have a studio. Sorry for that, it should be studio. Now ballet, and now I will add another separator, it could be a slash or anything you want. And now I will add numbers. Uh, let's go to groups, click here in groups. Let's see all, all the options available for me. Now I will add digits. I will, add, I will click here to add a uh, three digit counter, could be okay. And I will double click here. Now I will, have, I will have three digits and here we can see ballet 001. Well, actually this is, uh, uh, I change this a lot because if I have a, a, a session with less than 100 pictures, I'll probably choose two digits so that I can have a smaller uh, name. If I am satisfied with the name here in sample, then it's over. But uh, as I told you, as it, in this hour, I, I only have 36 pictures. I can change here uh, three digits. I just click here and choose two digits. I can, all, I can now press OK, but I can also go here in presets, click here and save it as a user preset. I will give a name, for example, uh, I will write my name. 
and I will also write two digits because I will know this will be an, a, a name with two digits save and that's it I will press OK and now here I have the, the batch renaming folder uh, or the batch renaming uh, uh, option and here in format is the formula that, that I just created and if I want to change anything here in the fly I just click here in format and I use the arrow to go where I want to change for example I will change the two digits I will go back to three digits and here in sample you'll see that it has changed too now as if they are selected if I press rename they will be renamed but first I'd like to correct instead of studio instead of studio I will just correct for a studio and I will transfer all this information across the, the session pressing the double arrow and the key shift in my computer probably now all the pictures will have studio studio now it seems that's okay now let's let's go back to image that rename and here I have the formula sample uh, you can see here now we have the studio now it's correct I will press now rename and it will rename all the pictures according to this formula now every time I have uh, another job I can just use this picture because every everything that will be different will be for me at, at least for me will be the title and the job identifier uh, when I have another job I will write the, the, the name of my client in title or the job, do, job identifier as my uh, kind of work it could be wedding could be a photo shoot it could be birthday could be anything I want uh, if I don't want the studio first I can write in title I can write the job and the, and job identifier I can write the name of my client and things like that and if you go again here in uh, in the folders uh, pictures you can see that it actually it physically changed all of them uh, 2017 12 9 uh, it uh, uh, it got this date from the camera because it was recorded in the camera studio ballet picture number two just the way I did here well uh, and this is how you can uh, name or rename your pictures in a very nice way uh, organized way in a professional way doing this way we will never be in trouble with with renaming the pictures and uh, uh, something that's interesting to, to say about renaming pictures uh, uh, is that uh, it's better renaming the pictures when you finish all your job because I don't think it's a good idea to name or rename pictures at, at the beginning of your editing process because uh, once you edit in the beginning of the, of the editing process you will probably uh, erase some pictures and uh, maybe we'll have uh, numbers missing such as number one number two and number five number six and probably your client will ask what happened to those missing numbers that's why it's important to name or rename your pictures at the, at the end of your job and once you rename this way using this formula or your own formula because every photographer has its own way of working you are free of course to use this formula or to create your one your own one you, you you will be sure that you will follow a pattern and this is very nice because once you follow a pattern everything will be the same everything will run smoothly and fast in your editing process of in your editing process well this is the end of this episode and I, I, I hope it was useful for you and I hope to see you in the, in the next episode bye bye